Yo, what it is? What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's been a hot minute. Yeah. It's been about three weeks since my last video. And obviously, it has been super busy at work. And that's why I haven't been blogging. Not because I gave up on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> but nah, honestly, I really do miss vlogging. And I've been waiting to finally vlog again. So here we are today. It's the day after Christmas. And this is the earliest I've gotten home all month long. So it's really nice to have some free time again. So today, I got something for the Civic. I got some K-Tune ball joints. They are called Roll Center ball joints. I can't show you right now because I don't know where they're at. I got so much stuff in the garage. I gotta get the Civic out the way so we can look for it. But before I move the Civic, I gotta make some adjustments to the coilovers. Even though I've been pretty quiet all month long, I've still been working on a little something. Woo! Check that out. Max Speed Rods hook me up with the new coilover set. And it's already installed. I'm working on a review video right now. So I gotta zero in on the coilover adjustment real quick. But what do y'all think about the Civic, huh? It's about a two finger wheel gap. It's probably like one and a half all the way around. I try to set it as close as possible to the uh, my previous setup. The front feels a little lower. That's like a one finger gap. But these are aftermarket fenders, so it might be a little different than the rears. Just because you're watching me right now, I'm gonna give you guys a little sneak peek on the new Max Speed and Rod coilovers. They look really nice, man. I'm really excited to get the video done, but I figured before I take the Civic for a test drive, I need to install new ball joints because I don't wanna go on a bumpy road and the ball joint probably blows on me, you know? <laughs> so, yeah. Check that out. Brand new, upgraded Max Speed Ross coilovers. These look really good. I'm not making an adjustment. I just forgot to lock the locking ring right here. I gotta do it on both sides. And once that's done, we can put in the new row center ball joints. And yo, we'll be one step closer to reviewing this, this coilover kit. Yeah. But yeah, don't lie to me. What do y'all think about the Max Speed Ross coilovers? I think they look fire. As a matter of fact, if you want to hop on these new coilovers right now, I'll leave a link or a few links down below on what cards they're available for. And using my code, you'll get, I think a 10% discount, maybe 15. I think it's 10%. <laughs> but be sure to check out the list down below to see if they have a set for your car. Yeah. I never told y'all, but I got the hybrid racing short shifter and yo, game changer for real. If you can find this used for a good price, you need to hop on this. I've never had a short shifter before, but once I got this installed, I was like, whoa, I didn't know what I was missing out on. <laughs> it makes the car feel a lot better, but still don't like driving a Civic because of the clutch. Yeah, this clutch pedal. No like it. How is it just right there in front of my face? <laughs> oh man. All right, so you might be wondering what exactly is a roll center adjuster? Pretty much these are extended ball joints. And so when you lower your car, this is gonna help correct your suspension geometry and the angles of your suspension pieces. Pretty much this is just another key part to your suspension in case you wanna maintain improved handling and steering response. But I'm no expert in this area, so if you wanna look more into what roll center adjusters do for your car, just hop on YouTube and you'll find a lot of information on this topic. Yeah. Okay, so here's my unofficial review on the K-Tune roll center ball joints. So first up, we get hooked up with a nice little or kind of big K-Tune sticker. Only one though. What if I need one for the other side? 
Come on, K-Tunes. Give us two. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, you know this is pretty good quality when they provide you with hardware. And this isn't just some screws and nuts. This is a bunch of nuts and washers and a couple of long screws that go into somewhere. Mm-hmm. Here we go. This is the K-Tuned Roll Center Adjuster. This looks like a really nice build quality. Like the finish on this, Oh man, Oh, So k -Tune actually offers two ball joints. They have the regular ball joint for the Civic and this is the Roll Center Adjuster ball joint, which is pretty much the same thing. The only difference is they include this plate right here. You can actually take it off and let's see, it measures to about 10 millimeters, give or take. This is 10 millimeters taller. So I'm assuming they've made this part 10 millimeters taller to compensate for this plate that they added. But most definitely, you're gonna have to get an alignment because when you change suspension pieces, the smallest adjustment can throw off the entire alignment. So adding this 10 millimeter spacer, it's gonna, it's gonna mess something up. So if you get this, I highly suggest you plan on getting an alignment right after you install this. Sorry to interrupt the video, but I am having some difficulties. This plate doesn't exactly line up with these three holes. So I put this plate on here and try to put this bolt in that same hole. Now I'm having issues trying to get in there. And after a while, I realized that I'm kind of stripping the bolt. The top part of this bolt is starting to get stripped. See right here, see how it looks shiny on that corner is biting into this little corner right here so uh. i should probably do the other two as well okay all three is drilled out look they're nice and shiny to the bare metal let's see if this works i mean judging from this angle it looks good okay yeah, there we go. Woo! Goes all the way through. Noise! Now we can finish the install. Let's do this thing. You know what guys I'm already in here and I do already have the part and this would be the best time to do this part install because check this out <laughs> that axle looks so bad and since this ball joint is already disconnected from the knuckle steering knuckle um, it's pretty much already ready to come out all I have to do is break loose this castle nut or axle nut and yeah, it'll come straight out. I can't be the only one who does this. I mean, originally, I just wanted to put these coilovers in and drive it, but I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and replace these ball joints because I had these ball joints on hand and uh, might as well go and get them replaced. <laughs> and now I see that the axle is pretty much accessible. 
Got that part on hand too. Might as well just put it in. <sighs> Let's do this thing. <laughs> So what I think about the K-Tune Row Center Adjusters. I really like the build quality on these ball joints and even the finish. It just looks really nice and feels good to hold in my hand. I like how K-Tune put their logo on the ball joint itself and on that 10 millimeter spacer. Even though that spacer can't really be seen, it's just the small details that make the product look nice overall. So huge thumbs up on the build quality and finish. And I really like the fact that K-Tune went out of their way they put an extra R&D on designing this product specifically for lowered cars. So on one hand, they already have ball joints for the HN Honda Civic, but on the other hand, they took the extra time and effort to create a better ball joint specifically for your lowered car. So, hey man, that's a huge plus to me. And now there are a few things that I disliked about these ball joints. First, it was pretty inconvenient for me to take one of those plates and drill out those three holes so it'll line up with the ball joint and allow me to screw in the bolt and nuts. I only had to do that on the passenger side, but it's just the little things like that just kind of make the project take longer than it really should. Second, the castle nut and cotter pin design. I know this is like a standard castle nut and cotter pin, but when you compare it to the OEM castle nut and cotter pin, it's designed in a way that the cotter pin doesn't hit the axle right above it because the castle nut sits so close to the axle that it makes sense that the cotter pin should come out sideways. But on the K-Tune castle nut, it's designed where you would have to fold the cotter pin over itself and before it even folds over itself, it's gonna hit the axle. So you gotta kind of finesse it to pass the axle and then it's only gonna be a lot harder to remove when you have to go back in there. It's not a big deal, but it's something they could have addressed if they wanted to. I understand that maybe they could have just provided us with OEM castle nuts and cotter pins. And lastly, I didn't like how the bolts on the bottom of the ball joint were different sizes. On the OEM ball joint, all three bolts were 17 millimeter, whereas on the K-Tune ball joint, only one of them was a 17 millimeter and the other two nuts were 19 millimeters. It's just a headache when you have to grab different size sockets or ratchets to remove some bolts on the same part, you know? I mean, Honda already had them all the same size. Why change it up? So besides those little minor details that I dislike about the ball joints, I still think they are a good investment. Now, do I think they're worth $180? I'm looking for a reason to say yes, but really, no, I don't think they're worth $180 because there's a couple of other brands that make the same part for this car and they have a better price. Now, I don't know how their quality compares to K-Tuned, but on one hand, K-Tuned has the regular ball joints for $110, and on the other hand, you got the row center adjusters for $190. So that's the $80 difference for a minor fix. I mean, I've never even heard of row center adjusters until I got my Civic, and my other cars have been doing fine without these row center adjusters. But then again, I could appreciate that K-Tuned took the extra effort to making these ball joints for lowered cars, and that's why I got them myself. So do I think you need these for your car? I say, yeah. Do I think you should get the K-Tuned ones? That's up to you, unless you wanna look around and try a different brand. But at the end of the day, these are just ball joints and it may help with aiding in your suspension. And if you're planning to track your car, I mean, I don't think this is a bad investment, especially if you want better handling and steering response. But all right guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys learned something new today. And man, it feels good to be back. <laughs> Look forward to more content coming soon, especially the Max Speed and Rods video. As always, thanks for dropping by and I'll see you on the next one. Yeah.